so this health the word health uh, it is defined as the state of physical mental and social well being of an individual now of course uh, you know there is a condition which is known as a diseased condition in that case a person is having some pathogen or some uh, uh, reason <coughs> due to which uh, the abnormal uh, symptoms are generated by our body like fever or something so that is something related to disease but normally you must have observed that even when there is no such symptom a person is not behaving properly right uh, there is a irritational behavior or something so that uh, condition is known as a poor health now the thing is when we consider a uh, health then of course it has to be maintained by some important points uh, it can, the good health or uh, it can be maintained by a proper nutrition that means if you you know when you are hungry you are not able to perform the basic all your activities in a proper way so nutrition is one of the important factor which is affecting the health then is a hygiene then of course exercise and other good habits which can actually maintain a good health of a person now when this health is related to uh, we are uh, related to this reproductive health then exactly what we mean by this is that uh, you know during the puberty there are many behavioral changes taking place in an individual right the body is growing so the nutritional requirement uh, is also uh, more fine uh, similarly uh, since they are developing new uh, features in their body so they are uh, showing some different type of characteristics in their behavior besides this the emotional uh, level is also changing uh, the uh, behavior towards the opposite sex is also getting changed so during this a proper health is to be maintained which is possible by some basic uh, uh, practices let us see what are these important factors which are affecting the reproductive health mind one thing this reproductive health is not only related to the uh, condition which is free of disease but it is related to the well functioning of the body right so let's see what are the important points related to this point see the very first factor effect that affects the reproductive health is the nutrition uh, the nutritional needs of the adolescents is quite different from those of children or the uh, adult person at this stage there is a rapid physical and mental growth right and even the body function is varying at a very different level so at this uh, age the nutritional requirements of body also increases now as this nutritional requirement is increased a person feels uh, uh, more hungry at times so one thing should be kept in mind that whatever food we are eating it should be it should include a balanced diet that means a meal is there in which the uh, different uh, essential nutrients are present in the sufficient proportions which are supporting the growth of an individual now what is this balanced meat uh, i'm sorry a balanced diet a balanced diet in which all nutritional uh, requirement is uh, i'm sorry essential nutrients are present in a particular proportion now what these components are the components of the balanced diet it includes the protein carbohydrate fat vitamins minerals water etc now of course at this age since the uh, growth is taking place so for that more amount of protein is required as compared to the carbohydrate or the fat so it should be it should be rich in the proteins uh, now examples of such diet which should be given to adolescent is uh, uh, it includes like milk then green leafy vegetables should be there meat citrus fruits cereals pulses and all other things which are supplying such type of nutri nutrients right uh, milk is a rich source of calcium and you must be knowing that uh, uh, in our bones there is the presence of the calcium isn't it uh, so this milk is uh, sufficiently fulfilling this basic requirement and this is why it is said that milk should be taken twice a day at this period of course it should be taken throughout the life but uh, during this period it is essentially required now besides calcium it is also supplying vitamin d and uh, uh, proteins 
right uh, then the green leafy vegetables are the rich sources of minerals right uh, you know in this uh, case i can say one important point that uh, in the females especially uh, since they are showing the menstrual cycles that is there is a loss of blood from our body so iron rich uh, diet should be given to them and these green leafy vegetables they are one of the richest source of the iron besides that meat uh, it is again a rich source of protein and other essential requirements so these are basically fulfilling such type of demand of our body nutritional demand of our body uh further the important point is the personal hygiene right uh, you know at this age that is during the uh, during this adolescence period uh, person are actually uh, they are having the sweating problem right see in this case the sweat glands and the sebaceous glands they are becoming more active right due to which there is more sweat which is uh, uh, released by the body there is the oil or the sebum which is secreted by the body right so it happens that uh, in this sweat or in the sebum the bacteria it can multiply rapidly and due to such bacterial growth uh, the person is having the the sweat is of the person is having a bad odor so due to such problem uh, a proper hygiene a proper cleaning is required besides this uh due to such type of uh, growth there is the generation of acne and the pimples also so uh, these uh, problems can be actually avoided you know how of course you must be knowing it is by the proper cleaning and bathing and especially wearing the sun dried clothes right there should be no moisture in the clothes whatever we are wearing and the reason is because uh, in the moist conditions the bacterial growth is quite fast isn't it so completely dry dry clothes should be uh, worn by the person further uh, if the smell is uh, or the odor is very bad or it is very prominent then a proper mild deodorant can be used besides this the person should keep the genital areas very clean else it can become a reason for the infection fine so avoid these uh, uh, urinary infection or the reproductive uh, infections of reproductive path these areas they should be cleaned properly uh, when the <coughs> acne or pimples are uh, uh, generated they should never be pricked away or they should not be squeezed people generally do because they feel that they are uh, uh, affecting their appearance but students it should not be done you know why because if this practice is followed it can cause the permanent scarring in that particular part so never prick or squeeze the pimple or the acne of your skin uh for that uh, actually if you have to prevent this uh, pimples or all this then for that you should wash the face uh, uh, more often and that too with a mild non oily uh, oily soap right and if is still the problem is persisting you can go for the medical attention or medical help also right now regarding girls one important point i should mention here and it is that we should use sanitary pads during the menstrual cycle you know traditionally it was a trend that uh, uh, the people they were using the cloth of uh, in during this uh, menstrual period right uh, and this cloth is i will never say it's a hygienic uh, uh, part they used to use this cloth and uh, um, then they just wash it and they reuse it but this this is not a good uh, and hygienic practice just avoid this use of cloth and uh, sanitary pads should be used and that too of a uh, good company or they should be uh, well enough right they should be uh i mean uh, they should not be local it should be uh, authorized by some specific uh, company further the next habit that should be adopted in this period is the physical exercise of course exercise is an it's it's a, it's a very important part of our uh, life uh, not only in adolescent period but of course throughout the life but during this period if you have to keep yourself fit and healthy this exercising walking playing in fresh air is actually recommended 
After that, there is the another point uh, regarding these good habits and that is saying no to the drugs. Uh, at this period, people are actually more curious. They want to know, uh, try more uh, or different things. But during this uh, curiosity, never go for drugs. You know what are these drugs? They are the chemical substances that can produce the physical, mental, behavioral changes in our body. Uh, basically, they are having a direct effect on the nervous system. Initially, they just uh, uh, people just use them as a uh, part of their curiosity, and uh, gradually they will observe that it has become an addiction. So this addiction is a habit uh, which is uh, uh, developed in a person for, for a particular thing and is really very very dangerous because in such condition, if we don't get these drugs, then of course we are facing very uh, serious problems. Right, so it is suggested that never go for, uh, for such type of habits. Some common examples of uh, drugs are like alcohol, nicotine, which is present in the tobacco tobacco products like cigarettes, gurkha, pan masala, coke. Then other parts, uh, other things are like cocaine, uh, marijuana. All these are affecting our nervous system, and they become the cause for many serious diseases in our life. You know, they can actually harm the body in the long run. Initially, you enjoy, right? There is no doubt. But slowly, you will see that in the long term, uh, in the long run, it can ruin your health and your happiness. It can destroy your family. So, students, never go for such habits. Uh, you know, these uh, drugs are uh, either taken orally or they are taken through the injections. So, it is observed that the people who are addicted to the drugs, they are more prone to catch the deadly virus, you know, uh, especially the HIV. Uh, how this HIV spread, you know very well, right? Uh, it can be, uh, it can spread through the unsafe uh, sexual contact uh, from mother to their child during breastfeeding or during the pregnancy period or it can even be uh, spread through the uh, used needles. If the needles are used for a age patient and the same is used up by the healthy person, the virus can spread. And in this case, when the drugs are often taken, uh, used by the person, then definitely it can become a reason for the transmission of HIV. So, uh, just uh, keep this thing in your mind that never use, never indulge in such type of habits. You, uh, this is a growing period. Enjoy this phase and just uh, look forward for your future. So this is all about the chapter. Further, I will come back with the next chapter. Till then, thank you so much. Have a nice day. Goodbye.